Get ready. Let's go. Hey, yo, everybody. I'm a Nick, and welcome back to Pokemon X. On the last episode, we made it to th through the Reflecting Cave, and we finally made it to Shalur City, where our next badge will be. So, uh, I think probably the first order of business is we should probably heal. Whenever you get to a new town after going through a route, you should probably heal. Just gonna say. Alright. Now, if I recall, one of these should be like a TM corner. And if it's not, then... Oh, you got TMs. Uh, nothing really of note, sadly. Oops. And I don't think you gave anything e either. Oh, uh, this is actually a reference to a game that a Game Freak had made called Harmonite. Uh, that was a pretty fun rhythm game. Never played it myself, but heard it was pretty good. Anyway, message go away. And let's do cutscene time. Hey, Veebs, how's your journey going? Hello, Nicholas. Let's compare our coastal Kalos Pokedexes and see who has seen more kinds of Pokemon. To put it another way, I'm challenging you to my own kind of Pokemon battle. So you've seen 45 kinds of Pokemon. I lost. How Can you even lose this? Or is this just like... Because if you like seen nothing, does he still lose? He's seen minus one coastal Pokemon. That would be hilarious. Get this. I found some great Pokemon dancers. Oh, yes. I just remembered. The professor told us to say hello to the Mega Evolution Guru when we reached Chalur City. That's right. He did say that. Um, who are we supposed to say hello to again? A person called the Mega Evolution Guru. Oh, that's right! He did say that! Well, I guess we should look for the Mega Evolution Guru then. Where do you think he is, anyway? I heard he's in that imposing building deep in the city. Tower of Mastery. Hmm. Maybe we should go over to this tower. Hmm. Veebs, check this out! Isn't this stone cool? I got it from this person called the Wandering Stone Collector for showing off my dance moves. It might be a mega stone. Here, Veebs, you can have it. I want you to have it because you're such a great trainer and all. I still remember a battle on Route 5. That's the Tower of Mastery? So cool! Well, I'll go call Trev's then. Go on ahead, okay? Just let me make. Let's just let me run over there and maybe, you know, get distracted for a second because there's an item here. I'll take that next either, thank you very much. It'll probably be useful later. Gee, I wonder when. Gee, I wonder when. Oh? You must be Nicholas, then. Sycamore told me you would be coming. I'm called the Mega Evolution Guru. I guess you could say I'm an acquaintance of his. Oh, but Mega Evolution Guru isn't my real name, of course. Now, come here for a moment, will you? Hmm. Only one of you? I thought he gave five kids a Pokedex. Isn't there anyone else with you? Oh! Who's that you're talking to, Veebs? People call me the Mega Evolution Guru. Uh, my name is Tierno. And that's Nicholas over there. My name is Trevor. Pleased to meet you, Sycamore's pupils. But there's still only three of you, huh? What's this now? Were you the one who found that intriguing stone? Well, it was you who found it, right, Veebs? Well, who found it doesn't really matter. What's important is that you were honest. 
If you tell lies, the truth is clouded and eventually lost. Persona for anyone. Reach out to the truth. And while we're being honest, that intriguing stone is just an ordinary rock. Huh. Sure a lot of hubbub out there. Does that mean everyone has arrived? Hey there! So you made it to Shalur City! Lucario is in its Pokeball, but is really happy to see you. Well, we should go see what's going on, too. Hmm, looks like everyone is finally here. Phoebes! Where have you been? It feels like it's been some time since our whole group has gathered in one place. Yeah, I think it's since we met up on Route 7. Mr. Mega Evolution Guru, I've been wondering this whole time, who is that over there? This is my granddaughter, Karina. She's Salur City's gym leader. So, Sycamore's pupils, now that you're all here, I suppose I should explain Mega Evolution to you. I assume you all know about Pokemon Evolution. I know, I know! Um, you have your Pokemon battle a lot. And then they grow stronger and evolve. Oh, and there are Pokemon that evolve with certain items. Some Pokemon evolve through friendship, and others only evolve in certain places. Exactly. And it's likely that Pokemon evolve in a lot of other ways as well. But Mega Evolution is an evolution that transcends all other evolution. Indeed. Mega Evolution is a transformation of Pokemon that were thought to be unable to evolve any further. It's a whole new level of power. So in an evolutionary line like Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard, does that mean Charizard would be able to evolve even further? Yep, exactly right. But not all Pokemon have a Mega Evolution. There's a reason why I used Transformation a moment ago. Mega Evolution differs from Evolution because it ends after a certain amount of time. In other words, it's a temporary evolution. What? It evolves, but then it goes back to what it was before? Yes, Mega Evolution is a special kind of evolution. That said, we still know very little about it. What we know now is that it requires special items. And the most important element is the trust between Pokemon and Trainer. Trust. In other words, the bond between Trainer and Pokemon. To make evolution, Mega Evolution work, you need two items. A Mega Stone for the Pokemon, and the Mega Ring which has a mysterious stone set in it for the trainer. Since Professor Sycamore entrusted each one of you with the Pokedex, I would like to give these items to all of you. I'd like to share them with you, but... But... But what? Just come out and say it already! Sorry, but presently, I have only one Mega Ring. It's a very precious item. That's why my research isn't getting anywhere. So I want all of you to decide amongst yourselves which one of you will be the ones to, who challenges the Mega Evolution successor. I'll pass. Pokemon battling isn't really my scene. So Mega Evolution would be way out of my league. Me too. It really would be a cool memory and it does look interesting, but... I want to complete the Pokedex first. If you try to do too much at once, you won't accomplish anything. So that leaves Veebs and Serena then. Trainers don't get much better than you two. Nicholas, let's battle for it. Whatever the reason, a battle gives us an opportunity to compete and see who Vanneville Town's best trainer really is. Well, if you ask. Are you ready? I will master Mega Evolution and set myself apart from other trainers. I'll also do it for my Pokemon. We've come so far together, and they never stop believing in me, their trainer. You and your Pokemon are stronger. I can tell just by looking at you. But I will not lose. No, I'm going to win. Bring it on, bitch. Let's go. Meow stick. Um, Helioptile isn't really built for this matchup, so we're just going to have to uh, 
draw our sword and go slicing and dicing. I'm sure a shadow claw. Ha! <laughs> you can't fake me out. No flinching for you. Wait, I can't remember if you were part normal or not. Ow. Nope, you were just pure psychic. Right. Well, two of these should mop you up quite nicely. Why does that sound like a freaking squeaky toy? Oh, uh, boy. Anyway, Yowstick is down. Chop liver, son! However, Helioptile really appreciates the experience. Oh! That's a big one. But we're just gonna let you switch Pokemon here real quick. If you're sending out Absol, your moves are still gonna hurt like a bitch. And I have no fairy moves yet. So here's what we're gonna do. We solved this problem with frogs. Solved this problem by being a goddamn frog. And then we just water pulse this thing until you no longer exist. I think that's a fun solution. So suck on this. Probably gonna take me a little while and the slash is going to hurt a bit. Ow. Not as much as my water pulse, but that still stings. Be confused? No. You could stab on that. And that, ah, yeah, that hurts even more. Like, if you did that twice in a row, you would have fainted me. However, you were dumbass. And you just wanted to go for the cut. However, trying to go for the cut meant you lose. Because damage output is not your friend. Oh, my God, we're one level away. All right, Quilladin. Time for you to suck to suck. Because, oh god, what is this second stage? I'm not a fan of this design, personally. Oh well. Really, I'm just not a fan of this line of Pokemon. Okay, that's gonna... That's not gonna do enough, buddy. I get the feeling you're gonna survive this Ember. Just, yeah, you get the 1 HP. It's probably not actually one, but God. <laughs> That's what you get for touching me. Feel the burn. Ah, <laughs> uh, knockout. So I lost then. Lose, bish. And now. It is time for evolving. That took a really long time. Did it really have to take that long to load Venusaur? Whatever, we got Venusaur. Yeah. Oh yeah, we learned pedal dance. Neat. Uh, for Petal Dance, it's a 120 power move. It's special. However, it will, it goes by itself for two to three turns, and then you confuse yourself. Eh, it's still good. We can lock ourselves into Petal Dance for a bit. It's much, much stronger than Razor Leaf. We're just going to put that out there. It was so strong. I can feel how powerful the bond between you and your partner is. Losing is frustrating, but you'll definitely be able to mega evolve your Pokemon. I'm sure of it. There may be winners and losers in a Pokemon battle, but I really thought you two and your Pokemon were all winners. Mega evolution is nothing more than just one way to make Pokemon stronger. There are many trainers who bring out the strength of their Pokemon without mega evolution. Well then, Nicholas. First, you should challenge Karina, the gym leader. Hmm, you have a Venusaur with you, then. I'm excited to see what the two of you will accomplish with the power of Mega Evolution. Pokemon need a Mega Stone, and Pokemon trainers need the Mega Ring. 
Well, my mysterious trainer, my Lucario may have taken a shine to you, but now I must test you to see if you're ready to challenge the Mega Evolution successor. I'll be waiting for you at the gym. Oh, the rest of your friends should come challenge me at the gym, too. I'll bet the professor will be happy if you master Ev Mega Evolution. That's one way you can show mastery as a trainer. Well, that's what the professor wanted us to do, after all. He said we should aim to be the best trainers we can be and enjoy our journey. Tierno. Shall we work to be the best trainers we can be, too? All right, then. Let's aim for the top. Hope to see you again soon, Beebs. See ya, Shawnee. You don't really need to go to all the trouble of comparing. Every living creature is unique. But still, having someone to compete against and aim for greater heights with is a very fine thing. Beebs, I think you and Serena are going to compete against each other and get really strong. I'm so glad we're all traveling together. Plop, 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 plop. Uh, I don't... I actually forgot that rival battle was there, honestly. But still, I'm just kind of like... Oh, uh, that all just happened? Okay. And we're swapping Curly to the front because uh, we're actually going to be going up against a fighting gym. And I am hoping to uh, take advantage of uh, the last little bit of experience necessary to get that evolution. So, I think that's probably enough plot for your heads today. So... On today's episode of Pokemon X, we are getting our way to Mega Evolution. We're almost there. But first, we gotta do a gym battle. It's right in here. And so with that, I'm a Nick, and I'll see you guys the next time.